Hey, hey, everybody. It is Randy, the co-owner at MyScreenKit.net, and I am excited today because this is our official how-to video for our insect screen screen kit. This is a beautiful thing, and what I love about it is we have about six of them that are pre-sized. You just cut it to size when you get it at home. And, of course, we've already done to our solar screens where we will custom build you a frame as well. You just give us the widths, the heights. We'll put it together. We'll tear it down, put it in our shipping tube, and have it at your door in a few days. So, well, first off, thank you so much for trusting us at My Screen Kit to take care of your window screen needs. What do you say we dive right in first and see what's inside your kit? And we'll go from there. Of course, as you know, you're going to get it in a tube. Uh, we're exclusively using FedEx as it stands, so that way you get it within about two to three days after your order. In this case, this is an insect screen, of course, with tan frame, so you're going to have four lengths of frame. Uh, this particular one was a 36 by 24. You're going to get two pull tabs, because after all, bug screens definitely need the pull tabs to lift them in and out. Two slide-in Easy peasy leaf springs, and I have to use that word genuinely, genuinely easy peasy because that is the easiest way to put a spring in your frame. You have four of your corners, and just for cosmetic reasons, I added a different color crossbar. But this will actually be the same color as your frame. But I did this on purpose just for the cosmetics of this video. So, what do you say we uh, put it together and uh, We'll see just how quick and easy it is. But first, measure your window, width first, and then the height. The reason we always do the width first is, especially on bug screens, we know that the pull tabs go to the bottom, springs at the top. So let's go ahead and just prevent any boo-boos. Let's do our width first, because again, pull tabs, springs, and then we'll take care of our height. In this instance, I've already done my cutting down. Again, this was a 36 by 24 kit. This particular window, is actually 32 and three quarters by 21 and three quarters. So what we did then is we actually just cut our frame down to the size that we needed, minus an inch and a half. But screen guy, why minus an inch and a half? Well, our screen corners, once they're added on, these are a true three quarter inch corner. And once that's added on, and I do realize this is the wrong color, but again, I'm doing this for cosmetic reasons. This is the champagne corner of course the tan frame. So once we've gone ahead and added our two corners back on, and again they're three quarter inch true, we're not cutting any corners, we just made that perfect 21 and three quarter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video while I assemble this, and then we'll let you do the same thing and then we'll come right back. All right everybody, so we've got everything assembled. I saved one so that you could see it with me, just to see how easy that is. To slide into place. I love it. So again, this one is going to be a 21 and three quarter. No, I'm sorry, 31 and three quarters by 21 and three quarters. But there's one thing I forgot to do, and that's a good thing. It's the reason why I'm doing it on the video with you. So I'm going to pull off what is essentially going to be my top leg. I'm going to put on my easy peasy slide in leaf springs. Oh yeah, baby. When I tell you easy peasy, as you can tell, I am not joking. That just slides right in. So now this will slide right over the top of our corner. Eh, a little bit of muscle meat, I guess, to push that. So What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin this around in my bench. Now I'm gonna place my two pull tabs into place. You get to determine where those go. Me, I just say eh, about four inches from the sides. And there's our beautiful pull tabs. What else was in our kit? Well, I forgot to tell you. For bug screen, you're going to get a foam spline line. This is a 165 foam. We've used a lot of different splines, hard, rubber, foam. Truly, truly, truly the easiest thing for you, and I think for anybody, is the foam spline when it comes to the fiberglass insect screen. This particular kit came with the charcoal insect screen. The wonderful thing about insect screen is only two colors, charcoal or gray. You get to choose. And then, of course, we already spoke about our crossbar. I did cut it to size. As you can see, that's a perfect fit because we do not want to hourglass our screen. So let's get down to it. If you ordered, I think it's going to be five or more. Don't stand me on that. You got yourself a free roll. Now, this is the only thing that I can tell you is not made in America, and I'm sorry about that. I 
we searched everywhere. We could not find a Make in America disposable or uh, at least a roller that didn't cost a hundred bucks. So you're getting this. These are less than ten dollars on our website if you want to buy one as well. Otherwise, of course, down at your local hardware store, Ace True Value, do it best, and maybe even at some of the big box stores. So this is what we're going to use. Now here's my old rule of thumb. I'm going to square off where the material is designed to be square. And the reason we do that is that way we have a nice straight line. We have no, uh, our openings aren't crooked, they're not circular, they're not looking goofy in any way. So here's where I get to teach you all. This is how quick and easy this is. Foam spline line, two fingers, I spread it out. And again, your roller will have a smooth, clean edge as well as a concave edge. This is the edge I like to use. And it's just as simple as a little bit of press. That's it. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take your left hand and pull the material with you as you're doing this. And the reason we're doing this is we do not wanna create any kind of wrinkles. We do not wanna create any rollovers or anything that's crooked. So we got down here at the end of the line and all I did was is just turn the corner with my fingers. I spread it out again. Again, the concave side. Push it down in there nice and deep. Same thing, I'm pulling that material at me while I drive over it. Again, no wrinkles, nothing's crooked, nothing's folding over on itself. <laughs> Life is good. For me, it's the easiest thing now for me to spin this frame around. And today you actually have me on my bench. So this is great. And whether you're doing this at your kitchen table, maybe you have a bench, picnic table in the backyard, it's completely up to you. At this point though, I'm going to take my crossbar, which I've already pre-cut. And, of course, I saved you guys the trouble of having to hear me cut everything down to size. We just went ahead and chopped it just to cut that out so that you could just take care of what you need to at your house. So now, again, we're going to turn that corner. I'm going to spread my fingers, concave. But this time, instead of pulling down the line, I'm actually just going to pull out. What do you mean pulling out? Well, the reason we're pulling out, and again, it's just slightly, is I want to take away any wrinkle, any softness, anything that's loose in that material. Because besides having a frame that's too tight, or it's given at the hourglass figure, the worst thing at that is, is having one that's really floppy in the wind. We do not want that either. So now we just spin this around. Again, the concave corner. Same thing, drive it down. We have ourselves a perfect and I mean flawless bug screen. And I guarantee this is something you just made in less than five minutes at your house. On the back patio, on the picnic table, it doesn't matter. Now you just need a nice sharp blade. And with this here, all I'm gonna really do is just lay my blade on top of that spline and just press against the frame. As you can see, that's keeping it nice and clean. Now I'm gonna spin this around to make it easier on us. Same thing here, and of course it'd be a little bump right there because of the uh, pull tab. And there we have it, folks. MyScreenKit.net, an insect screen fiberglass in this case it's charcoal as far as its color is concerned now some of these corners that i uh, was trimming and i accidentally pulled up a little bit i just turn your roller over you can put it right back down in the deep corner and folks what we have here is a beautiful beautiful bug screen that um depending where you live this is a retail of gosh i've seen people here in texas actually getting 65 75 dollars for this for this you really got this at your front door for about 25 bucks. Now keep in mind, the thing is aluminum, so recycle. If you don't need your crossbar, this is just a temporary thing, especially for a bug screen. There's no need to leave this in. Be sure to recycle or use it in some other area of your home. Uh, I end up using it as a little ground stakes in my garden. So I hope this worked out for you guys. MyScreenKit.net. Once again, thank you so much for ordering your screen kit. I trust that it was as easy as ABC and that you did get it done in less than five minutes. As we always tell you, like us, support us, follow us, give us a thumbs up, share it with others. Let them know just how simple and easy this was designed 
for you, the homeowner. After all, it is your screen kit, myscreenkit.net. You guys have a blessed one. Thank you very much.